studio tour and tips so I have been working on this for the past few days because I realized I have been facing some kind of burnout and I needed to get a clear headspace so I feel like the, one of the ways I can do this is to like clean my workstation and just basically get my life together so while I was cleaning my area I realized that a lot of my clients also have been this like how they can home on the station so I decided to include some tips and considerations like what I usually do whenever I design workstations. I hope this video will help you out, sort out what you need and then also make like smart purchases so you can avoid impulsive buying and yeah I hope you guys will enjoy this video. This used to be the layout of our home office before. Initially, it was meant for two people and then it gradually turned into my solo workstation. Before 2021 entered, I realized I wanted to relay out things according to how I will probably use it. But then I'm going to rearrange this today because I realized I didn't really maximize the space I was given and then there was a much better way to lay out things. So in order to do this, I'm going to share with you the first tip or also the first step, which is knowing your priorities. This may be confusing at first, but you can start asking yourself some questions such as, how will you use the space? Most people have multifunctional workspaces, so in my case, I want to create a separate zone for my art studio and work area. I also have to consider that I have cats who do not know what personal space is and then I usually use this also for gaming sessions sometimes. Storage is an important factor in workstation so it's best to plan this by listing down the items and materials that you will store there so you can know that everything has its own place. Next, you'll probably ask yourself where is the best location for your home office, which leads us to tip number two, which is to invest on a productive environment. One of the first things that you can actually do is to find a cozy corner in your house where it is quiet and perfect place to concentrate and you know to avoid awkward zoom moments. It is also best to put your workstation near a place where natural lighting is abundant. You can put your table next to a window where it is most optimal or you can also put it in front of a window and just put blinds to protect your eyes from the glaring heat. Please do not put your table set up behind a window because this produces the most glare. If natural lighting is not accessible to you, you can always use and maximize the artificial lighting available in your house. I would recommend using daylight color temperature because this is the closest to natural lighting. I highly recommend investing on ergonomic furniture because this is what your body needs. If you don't have this yet, I'd recommend saving up and purchasing this before anything else because this will save you from back pains. If aesthetics is an important factor for you, there are tons of other styles available and they also go on sale often. Also consider your distance from the monitor screen. The monitor should be at or slightly lower than your eye level. This is also a friendly reminder to always prioritize function over aesthetics. Investing on a well-designed furniture that is meant for your needs will definitely benefit you in the long run, and your body will also thank you for it. Managing your workflow will help you plan an efficient workspace. One of the ways that you can do this is to encourage yourself to clean and organize your space as much as possible. You can start organizing your wires by designating one specific location for all your cables so that you'll also have this specific power motherboard station that you can easily access and locate. You can arrange 
manage your stuff by putting your most used items where it's most accessible to save you time from rummaging through your area to find it. You can opt to go for close storage to hide items that you don't really use every day and to keep your space as clean as possible. Organizing your items will help you sort out what you need to keep and sometimes surprise you that you have so much stuff you forgot about because they were kept for too long. For the meantime, please do enjoy these silent videos of me organizing my workstation and I'll get back to you in a while. It's time for me to style my space. My typical motto for styling would be accessorize with purpose because I do not want to overdo it and make more visual noise when I already have so much stuff. So that's also one of my tips for styling. Don't feel pressure to take up all the space because blank or negative spaces give balance to your workspace. This is also a way to make your space more flexible because you might be needing more space for storage in the future. You can also opt for a functional decor that can serve as an extra storage to make your purchase worthwhile. Add your personality to this space by displaying decor that you personally connect with like displaying stuff you're a fan of or gifts given to you by your loved ones. 
You can also add a bit of greenery since this also helps with increasing your productivity and creates a healthier looking environment. station into something that is geared towards your goals and helps you keep track of what you do. I used my existing glass board to track my design projects and also use several productivity apps. There are tons of ways to do this. You can use sticky notes, cork board, or also go digital with your reminders and notes. You can also put books for your quick reference and help you jump into the right headspace for work. This is me reusing this clip again and here I am done organizing. A quick tour of my current workspace layout, here's my small art corner where I'll be usually painting because I need my natural light and right next to it is my work area where I have enough space for my laptop and writing needs. I also have this cute spot where I display my friend's work and my own product and I am looking forward to collecting more artworks from different artists as well. Next, I have my small packing area and photo shoot area for my artworks and shop products. I am keeping this spot as clear as possible because I will also use this for Zoom meetings so that I'll have a proper background and avoid people walking behind me. I have this trolley cart that serves as my art station with my most used tools conveniently placed on the first layer and with enough room for new art materials. to organize my bookshelf with the top portion allocated for my books and the lower portion meant for material swatches. And before I forget, let's talk about the last step which is the most important one. Please take care of yourself. I know it's easier said than done, but please take breaks while working, get yourself a cup of coffee, move around from time to time, and take naps if you need to. Please do not hesitate to set boundaries and honor your rest days. Remind yourself that you have life outside work. Clean your workspace after use to have a fresh start every day and it removes some of the stress. Your workspace should be a place where you belong to and where you feel the most inspired. By following healthy habits and tailoring the space according to your needs, your workstation will easily turn into one of your favorite spots that you treasure in your home. <laughs>